Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo. I've been practicing intermittent fasting for nearly a decade. In fact, on most days, I eat just one meal a day. I find that eating this way allows me to have a big dinner every night and still maintain a low body fat percentage year round. Recently, I had my testosterone levels measured and I was happy to see that I'm in the higher end of the healthy range for men aged 18 to 39, and I'm almost 46. I do a lot of things that naturally increase my testosterone, like strength training, sleeping a lot, and getting plenty of sunshine. But is it possible that practicing OMAD has also played a role in increasing my testosterone? Well, one study from 1989 found that intermittent fasting led to a substantial increase in testosterone levels. And other studies also suggest that weight loss achieved through dietary changes, including OMAD, can lead to an increase in testosterone. However, there's other research that suggests that intermittent fasting, including OMAD, can reduce testosterone levels in lean, physically active men. So it appears there's no definitive answer at this time. Of course, it's also important to consider that any diet which focuses on quality protein while limiting ultra-processed junk foods is key for healthy testosterone levels and might be more important than whether or not you follow any specific fasting protocol. And of course, there are other confounding factors to consider too. Regular exercise positively influences testosterone levels, as does getting enough sleep, managing stress, reducing alcohol consumption, and maintaining a low body fat percentage. And these things should all be considered alongside dietary changes, which most of these studies did not account for. Furthermore, the individual response to OMAD can vary significantly from person to person. Now, my own firsthand experience does seem to suggest that it's a good fit for me, but that doesn't mean it'll necessarily be ideal for you. If you've ever wondered where your testosterone levels stand, or if you just want a full picture of your health with blood work or other lab tests, my sponsor, LabCorp On Demand, gives you the freedom to check your health on your terms. You don't need to make a doctor's appointment in order to learn what's going on with your body through lab testing. Just go to trylco.com slash to get 20% off your tests. Then make an appointment or just walk into one of LabCorp's 2,000 plus patient service centers for sample collection. Your sample will be collected using the same methods as a doctor's office, and you'll be notified by email when your results are ready. I got mine the very next day. Learning that my testosterone levels are at the higher end of the healthy range gives me peace of mind and also gives me motivation to keep going. If you want to know where your testosterone levels stand, head over to trylco.com slash alcavadlo and use my code alcavadlo to get 20% off your test today. And until more information comes to light, the impact of OMAD on testosterone will probably continue to be debated. More research is needed to fully understand the relationship between intermittent fasting and testosterone levels. But there's no denying that strength training is one of the best things you can do to increase your testosterone. So whether or not you do intermittent fasting or OMAD, make sure you're doing your push-ups, chin-ups, and squats. And if you're curious to try OMAD or intermittent fasting, I encourage you to ease in slowly. Start by just skipping breakfast or even simply delaying it and see how that feels before you attempt to do a longer fast. If skipping breakfast goes well, then see if you can have a day with just one meal. Maybe you'll feel great and want to do it again the next day. Maybe you won't. There's only one way to find out for sure. And remember to drink plenty of water during your fast and feel free to have coffee or tea as well, as long as you don't add sugar or cream. If you've got questions for me, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.